Good morning, Internet. Craig the Tech Teacher here with CraigTheTechTeacher.com. Wow. Running on a delayed reaction today, so if anything funny tends to happen. People don't like that I... Uh, I'll, I'll get into that later. If anything funny happens, that's why. Running on a delayed reaction day. Kids uh, up late, watching Friends. I know it's weird. Me and my wife love that show. And then I... I uh, have trouble sleeping. You know, you got two kids and, you know, everything running through your head. It's going to be Friday tomorrow. Yes, today's Friday. Uh, that kind of stuff. You know how that goes. This is IT Life. My name is Craig, as I said, and I'm, wow, that rhymed. I'm Dr. Seuss today. And I give you guys insights into the real world of IT. I've been in IT for 10 years and I am a IT guy, a full-time YouTuber, and full-time just all-around tech geek, and that's what I do, and I give you guys kind of valuable insights into what's really going on out there in the world, and I hope that I provide you guys with some real value in that process. Speaking of value, my patrons are the ones who keep this show going and, most importantly, growing. We are doing really well in the patron program, but we could still be doing a lot better because I don't know if you guys have checked it out. On the left-hand side of the patron page, there's a whole bunch of work that still needs to be done to make sure that this is being done the best that it can be done. So I want you guys just to check that out. Um, it's for as little as $2 a month, you know, a cup of coffee a month, um, and really it's crowdfunded so I can help you guys. Uh, and yeah, that's what it's all about. Um, but our top patrons to, uh, for this month are Jacob Williams of Wild Academy. If you're interested in Ruby programming at all, or just an all-around interesting guy, check out Jacob Williams at wildacademy.com. And also check out Brooke Chamberlain with Ashley Beige Photography. She has amazing photography. Um, and both of those links are in the URL below. So let's get this road on the show. Yes, I did that on purpose. I got a question today, a patron question from Joe Ray. Um, he said, I had an issue I wanted to ask your opinion about. The last couple of days when I went to my bank site, I received a warning that it was unsafe, that it may be an imposter. So I downloaded an app for my cell to access it. Today I find new home pages and search settings I did not approve. I found a life I found a file called something like file sharing bundle and uninstalled that, returning all pages back to normal. Called the bank and was reassured all as well. Next I plan to scan with MSE. Okay. Well you did your due diligence, Joe. Nah. <sighs> These phishing scammers, man, they're so good at what they do now. And if you guys become victims of this counterfeit stuff anymore, it does not surprise me. It, these people have gotten so good at what they do. Uh, and it's what they do. That's their job, by the way. You, there literally are thousands of people sitting at their desk devising new ways to rip people off. I know, you know, I know it sounds depressing, but that's, that, that's what they do all day long. And uh, what they do is they create called a phishing scam, which sounds like you ran into, where they, they're like, okay, well, we'll get this virus on their machine, and then when they go to these bank account addresses, we'll redirect them to a page that looks like their bank. Um, or they'll, they'll drop your bank page in a, like a layer on top of your actual, or they call them iframes, on top of a fake capturing page, so that when you enter your username and password, they can grab that. Um, and it's it's an old technique. It's not like it's anything new, but they've just gotten better at making it really, really look legit. Uh, you did your due diligence. You did the right thing. You said, okay, red flag. Um, and what that did is it basically, uh, it was telling you that there was something funny about the way that the domain was set up and in the way that it was registering your uh, security ticket. And it was just throwing up that flag. It may be an imposter. So you did your due diligence, you downloaded the app instead, and you called the bank, making sure there was nothing wrong on their end. Uh, so obviously there's something on your machine, given that you have file share bundle. So how do you deal with this? Well, there is a magical program out there, completely free, um, and it's at my website in the free download section. It's called Malware Bytes Anti-Malware. And it is a wonderful tool for taking care of problems such as these. Uh, when you go to my site, just download it and run a full scan completely free, like I said, and it's amazing. Uh, and it will probably find and eliminate whatever it is that you have on your computer. One more thing, though, that you want to make sure that you're doing uh, when, when you look at your home pages, how they've been reset and everything. Uh, what I'll usually do is I'll go into the actual control panel. And I'll see all of your installed programs like you did and just see if anything just sounds or looks funny. 
and use Google. Google is your friend. Uh, it's a big friend for things like this because if something's that familiar to you, you can always Google it. Remember, it's the ultimate research tool. So then Google the programs that are suspicious, see if they're legit or not. Um, and then after you've done that, of course, you want to make sure you have a decent antivirus. Uh, and, and like I said, you're the best antivirus. Uh, I still suggest people look into maybe getting Avast free. They're getting shaky now, but uh, it's still a good product for being free. Uh, if you want commercial, go with Kaspersky or NOD32 or Norton. Norton makes a great product now. So then after that, after that, that second step of the antivirus, um, then you want to go into your browser settings. Uh, check your extensions, check your plugins, especially if you're on Chrome, check your extensions. If you're on Firefox, check your plugins. If you're on Internet Explorer, stop getting on Internet Explorer and use uh, Google Chrome. Um, but go into your extensions, make sure nothing got installed. Now there is an advanced uh, layout of your extensions as well. If you type into your search bar in Chrome about A-B-O-U-T and then type in a colon, slash slash, and type in plugins. Let me try it out here just so I know I'm not giving you about plugins. Yes, that will work. About colon slash slash plugins. And it'll actually bring up an advanced layout of your, um, actually here you can see it right on my screen, uh, an advanced layout of your Chrome extensions. And you can go through and delay, delete or disable uh, whatever uh, plugins look somewhat suspicious. And of course the other way to do this is to go into your settings. Um, and go to your extensions sorry my lighting's in the way extensions and then go in there and uh and then delete them delete anything that looks somewhat suspicious now so and so after that you've done a lot of uh of your stuff now if you're if you're extra if you want to be extra careful change your password always change your password uh and, and that's it's such an easy thing to do just in case and finally after you've done all that and you're still concerned and you're like okay you got a little burned this time, maybe, and you didn't really get burned. Um, I use LifeLock Identity Theft Insurance. Uh, I can see if I can get a link to it to put in the video description, but uh, I started using that because, man, these as soon as I started learning how good these people are at, at stealing your identity and stealing your social security numbers, and and I was like, you know what, for the, for the $20 to $30 a month, They'll monitor my bank account. They'll monitor my social security number. Anytime there's new applications for credit cards, I get a notification. And they're really good about it, too. Like, I'll go fill out an application for a Visa card at Toys R Us just so I can get a discount because I'm a dad. <laughs> and, and literally within 24 hours, well, within hours of filling out that application and them submitting it, I'll receive a text or an email asking them to verify that I actually opened that credit. And if I don't answer that immediately, they will call me and tell me, hey, log into your account. There's been activity on your credit. And, you know, it sounds annoying, but how often does that happen? How often do you apply for new credit? Maybe once a month, once every two months. Uh, but it does that. It monitors my bank accounts. It monitors all that stuff. And it covers it if something happens. So I hope that answers your question, Joe Ray. And this is... Again, it's it's everybody does it now. You know, it, it happens to me too all the time. You know, when you're installing programs, the check boxes say uncheck this to not maybe install. You know, they they just word it funny so that you accidentally install software on there. Uh, and and it's just it's part of the deal now. So thank you guys for coming out as always. It life. Um, and today on my schedule is to get a job I've been putting off done, and it's an AutoCAD electrical print, and I just AutoCAD. Bzz. Might be fun for some people, but there's so many tools in there, it's hard to uh, hard to enjoy it um, when you don't know it very well. Uh, so I'll have to put a print together for a customer. That's somewhat fun. But we're doing awesome on the expo. We have uh, like 35 registrations. That's like almost triple what we had last year at this time. So it's it's going really well here in the office. So thank you guys for coming out yet again. Remember, and thank you patrons for, for keeping this show going and growing uh, there's a lot of great things we can still implement into the future, so I'm hoping we keep getting more and more patrons on the hook. If you can't be a patron right now, I understand completely, um, and there's a way to donate through PayPal as well if you're not in a position to do the monthly thing. Um, but uh, I understand completely. It, it it depends on whether you find the value there and whether you have the money. You know, I get it. You know, I'm a dad. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out. I'll see you in the next video.